And, uh, Coach, uh, congratulations on the uh, Tar six win, uh, sixth win on the season and proved to 6-4. Uh, and four, uh, Really a uh, tremendous effort by, uh, uh, by the Tars here this evening. Uh, it was a terrific game. I mean, all around the, the guys played so great. Um, it was probably the most complete lacrosse game we played since I've been here. Uh, it, it really looked like that. It had that feel. Uh, certainly turned the ball over a lot less. Won the uh, won the uh, ground ball battle in a big weight, 41 to 29. And I tell you what, when you have a freshman like Jack Vinar that can step up and have six goals, uh, it's it, it, it's such a threat to have out there. Uh, he's wonderful. I mean, he's a, just a tremendous athlete. I mean, he's unstoppable. Um, you know he's he's a you know he's an all-conference player. There's no doubt about it. And you know he he really stepped up tonight. He wanted to win this game. He told me about it beforehand. And it's fun to watch uh, young people uh, make a prediction and then then uh, follow through with it. Absolutely. And uh, this, of course, a a Sunshine State Conference rival. Uh, and coach, if if you could, uh, do you have any advice to uh, head coach uh, Dennis Short? Uh, as uh, lacrosse just been announced that uh, women's lacrosse will be added as a Sunshine State Conference. Uh, what is it like playing in the Sunshine State Conference here? Uh, although this is the first season for it. Well, let me say this first. Uh, my good friend Dennis Short doesn't need any advice from me, that's for sure. But uh, in terms of the conference, um, it's a lot of fun. You know, it, it, it makes it a lot more competitive for the, uh, all the players in the state. Um, you know, you feel like a big family competing for something that's special in our, in our home area. And, uh, you know, lacrosse is growing leaps and bounds here, and it's only going to get better even f for all of us. And, and, and talking about uh, uh, family, Coach, uh, today the Friends of Jacqueline Day. Uh, and uh, at the beginning of this season, a uh, team uh, went out and uh, uh, adopted the Ryder Snow and his family. Could you talk a little bit about the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation and, and, and uh, what it does and, and, and the team's involvement with that program? Well, and I'm not to talk about me because it's not about me, but I've been philanthropic most of my life. And um, my old neighbor in Connecticut uh, was a, their son was a member of, is a member of the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation with the Fairfield University men's lacrosse team. And it was through them before I moved down here that I applied to, uh, to you know, adopt a young boy who, you know, who has medical problems and try to make a difference in their life. And uh, it took three years for the application to go through, but it happened this year and the, you know, the message is, is that life isn't that easy, and um, it can creep up on us. And if you can make a difference in anybody's lives, but especially a little boy's life, uh, it's very special. And I also think it's good for my young men here to, you know, see the other side um, as they're getting ready to grow up and, and get into the real world. Well, uh, Coach, I uh, want to thank you for, for making that uh, uh, making that application and really a, a beautiful scene here and a great night for Rollins College Lacrosse both on and off the field.